Hello Capricorn, it is your turn for Spooky Tarot. So, you guys know that I love October, it's my favorite month, and we get to do Spooky Tarot. So, for those of you that are new and don't know what Spooky Tarot is, it's where we use these creepy cards. Look at that. Lovely zombies and gore in the back. <laughs> All right, so um, the deck is actually called The Beauty of Horror. So I don't have my normal setup. To make a long story short, I left my camera stand at my mom's house when I was taking care of her. She had surgery. So I don't have my normal setup. I have my phone propped up on some oracle cards. I do have my light, so we can, that's, a blessing in disguise right so that you guys can still see me but normally I have you know my phone in my camera stands and I have my little lights connected so I have you know my whole setup and I don't so we're making do what what with what we have you know the show must go on so I'm sitting on the floor actually I think I prefer being on the floor it's very comfortable um I don't know, it's just, I'm more relaxed like this, if that makes sense. Closer to the ground, grounded, I don't know. Anyways, we are going to go ahead and dive right in, Capricorn. This is going to be a general love reading. So, it's not going to resonate with everyone, but it's going to resonate with someone. Let's, let's go. Alright. We are reading now for Capricorn. Actually, I'm going to sound cleanse one second. All right, I just went um, ahead and used my bell to sound cleanse the area so that we can start out with new energy for you. You guys see my Ghostbusters shirt? We ain't scared of no ghosts, are we? Are you? <laughs> scared of me ghosted, not scared of ghosts. <laughs> All right, so what does Capricorn need to know for their love life and you guys know that all of my readings are timeless um we are focusing on the energy right now in your vicinity capricorn thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for capricorn for their love life All right, Capricorn, what did you walk away from? Something. Ooh, Capricorn. So you walked away from something and now you're in this like bad bitch energy. <laughs> oh man, you bossed up. You've gotten smarter. I don't know if that's possible. You've got wiser, smarter, more I wanted to say cold, but this is it, it's not in a negative connotation. It's more of like I know what I deserve and I'm not going to settle for anyone's bullshit, right? Type of energy. It's like stepping up to the plate to take care of yourself and you're just like the hell with. So it's basically like when you walk into something and you have this beautiful open heart and then you get burned or someone does you wrong in some way, do you still continue to keep your heart open to them? No. You would still keep an open heart, and I see that you do have this beautiful open heart, Capricorn, but I feel like now you're selective with who you decide to trust, okay? This doesn't mean that you're still not open and kind and all of these beautiful empathic, you know, traits. Now you're just wise as to who you decide to let love you. Does that make sense? There it is. 
Oh yeah, wow. I'm so sorry, Capcorn. You are definitely into some hermit mode right now. You just all of your all of your fucks are gone. <laughs> Look, we have letting go of something, walking away, no longer looking at the cups. You don't care about them damn cups, right? There's that bad, bad mother effa energy, right? Look, Queen of Swords constantly got that sword up, got that guard up. Still, you're soft. You're still, you're still soft. You're still trusting. You're so beautiful. You're just selective now, right? We have the Hermit. So this is going into seclusion, focusing on yourself, focusing on being the bad mofo energy, right? And then we have the five of wands. So let's draw a card on the five of wands. Why do we have the five of wands here? Five of wands is about conflict and competition. <clears throat> it's possible that because you start focusing on you, all of a sudden it brings out the competitive competitive nature of, of those that are fighting for your attention. Why do we have the five of wands here? Whoa, they gave me two cards. Wow, okay. So I asked for clarity about the five of wands and they gave me temperance which is you know balance and patience and then they gave me the seven of wands which is about you know feeling almost like defensive um about something you know it's people trying to take you off your pedestal, so to speak, right? So, in regards to this connection, Capricorn, someone, someone tried to tell you how to do things and how to live your life. Is that what happened? And they were trying to knock you down a peg. They were trying to make you feel like you were less than, right? It caused a lot of conflict between you two. You were constantly rubbing each other the wrong way. And I feel like ultimately you were extremely patient with this person in the beginning, right? There's, you know, this energy of conflict, fighting, then we have patience, right? And then we have this energy. Seven of Wands, okay? You may have been really patient with this person in the beginning, and then they, it was just something happened. It was the straw that broke the camel's back. You felt like you were constantly on the defense with this person, and I feel like that really caused you to walk away. It was painful, but I don't really think you had a choice in the matter at this at this point. All right, so what's next for this connection? What's next? I'm not sure. We have the six of pentacles. So this person, hold on. Let me, you know what? How does this person feel about Capricorn? Let's do this. You know what? I'm going to, I was going to, you know what? I was going to use a different deck, but how does this person feel about Capricorn right now? I have a nagging suspicion. How is this person feeling about Capricorn right now? Wow. <laughs> okay, Capricorn. So they are 
they're having a lot of tears, a lot of sleepless nights, massive amounts of anxiety. They are so freaking stressed out over this connection. There is a lot of guilt. There is a lot of... I pulled another card because I got this card, which is the Six of Pentacles, which is the energy of like someone wanting to make things right, someone wanting to give equal give and take energy, right? And I asked, you know, for a card of how they feel. And then we get this card, which is a nine of swords, which is like anxiety, stress, regrets, right? A lot of sleepless nights. To me, I mean, this is, you can't tell in this deck, but this is, the, the nine of swords is the card of the man sitting on the bed with his head in his hands. And he's like this, like he can't sleep. He's in bed, he's trying to sleep, but he can't. Okay, this person is up at night thinking about the fact that they didn't step up properly and they didn't feel like they gave you what you needed. Does that make sense? They, they knew, they knew, they could feel that the energy was off, right? They could feel that the balance was off. You were giving more and they weren't giving enough. Okay, they, I feel like they were constantly trying to make you question your life's decisions. And now they're in a lot of regret about that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. You know what? Let's see. I'm going to. I was going to go for the love oracle, but let's see how you're feeling about this person. We have the eight of cups, so I know that you chose to walk away, but let's, let's see how you're feeling about this person right now. How does Capricorn feel about this person? Because we might have a cross watcher that's watching <laughs> someone who's, you know, spying on you Capricorn and maybe they want to know how you're feeling. So how does Capricorn feel about this person? Woo, those cards just flew out. Oh, you're feeling very hurt. You're feeling very wounded by this person. They really did throw you for a loop, Capricorn. I'm so sorry. I'm giving you a huge hug. Um, at the same time, look, we got, so we have the Nine of Wands, which is, you know, the wounded warrior. It's like, they feel very hurt. You know, this Capricorn feels very hurt. So you guys feel very hurt, Capricorn, by this person's actions, yet you're still continuing to be strong and to keep going, which is an absolutely beautiful thing, right? And then we have the Six of Wands. So you feel like, though this person really hurt you, Capricorn, you feel like victorious. So basically what I mean by that is though this person, you feel really hurt by this person, you feel like you made the right choice. You feel like you're the one that's winning, okay? You're the one that's gotten the victory because you feel, you know, like even though they did hurt you, you feel like you made the right choice for yourself, okay? All right, let's, um, let's go on to the love oracle. All right, so what's next for this connection? Or is this connection completely dead? I don't know. Let's see. I think this person has issues with their ego. That's why they they saw that you were living their, your life in a way that wasn't consistent with theirs. And they didn't understand it. Because, you know, there may have been even a little bit of jealousy. Like, I feel like this person put you on a pedestal and they were like, oh, how come Capricorn can live their life so easily and so grounded and so present and I can't, you know what I'm saying? So they, they tried to make you question everything that you did. Oh, well, why are you doing that like this? Or why is it that you think you can do this, you know, and escape the matrix and I can't, you know what I mean? Does that make sense, Capricorn? Finances. Um, it could have something to do with money. Wow. 
We have finances, ex-lover. Hold on. Roll the dice. Okay, so if we have finances, ex-lover. Now, this can be a few things. You could have some finances coming in, which, you know, that's always a good thing, right? If love is gone, <laughs> then bring the money in, right? <laughs> it's like one... You know, it's like spirit will take away one thing and they give you a, another. Like, they're never going to leave you. They're never going to take something out of your life without giving you something more beautiful than what you had. Does that make sense? Okay. But we have finances and ex-lover. It's possible as well that this, this person you were dealing with, they could be going through a nasty divorce and their ex-spouse, ex-lover, whatever is now taking some of their finances like child support or something like that and you know i'm getting this message that it's possible that going through this this change of like you know the court system having to pay child support all those type of things might have caused stressors on them and that could be why you guys were clashing as well i'm not making excuses for this person not at all. I'm just giving you the messages as they're coming towards me, right? As they're coming, coming, coming to me. That's what I meant to say. All right. Why do we have, let's see, let's, let's get some, let's get another message about this roll the dice. We have roll the dice. So I don't know if this person is going to take a chance on you again or why we have this roll the dice. So let's get some more cards and see what's going on. Oh, goodness gracious. We have roll the dice and we have proposal. <sighs> I'm not sure how you feel about this Capricorn, but I feel like this person is really, <sighs> they're going to take a huge risk. <laughs> I feel like it's possible that they're going to come back and say, I made so many freaking huge mistakes. And look at that. There's a hair right there. Look at that. Ah! They may come in very quickly and say this, that, this, that. I'm sorry I was like this. I, I want to marry you. You're the one. I'm not sure how you're going to feel about that, but there's also another storyline we can go with for some of you. This is going to be an ex-lover, right? And they're going to roll the dice. With a marriage proposal. It's possible this ex wants to come back. It's, it's, it's not possible. They do want to come back. So for some of you, it's a literal ex coming back. And for some of you, it's this person that, you know, you are butting heads with constantly. It reminds me of that movie, um, Pride and Prejudice. Or is it Pride and Prejudice? <sighs> the one where the guy and the gal, they keep bumping heads. Um, in my... I, I think it's Pride and Prejudice. I don't remember what movie it is, but they keep bumping heads. Mr. Darcy and the, the woman. Oh, my God. If you guys know what I'm talking about. The main character is a masculine. His name is Mr. Darcy, and he's in love with this female, and yet he treats her like absolute garbage because he loves her. Because, you know, he loves her so much, and he's never been in love, and so he just is constantly like berating her and putting her down and making her feel like not not really okay so he doesn't really like do it in a bad way like berate her and make her feel shitty about herself but he does make her feel shitty about herself because he's constantly like very harsh with her you know like he's not necessarily mean to her he doesn't like he's not disrespectful but he's just very cold and angry with her all the time very clipped and you know what I mean so she is absolutely crazy about him but she's like oh he doesn't give a crap about me because he's very short-tempered with her all the time 
You know what I mean? And the reason he's like that is because he's so crazy in love with her. And he hates that he's in love with her because he's never been in love. So he's like, she she irritates him, you know, because he, he loves her so fiercely and he doesn't understand why. And so it irritates him. So it has nothing to do with her. It's everything to do with him. It's It was 2020 on my camera. Um, he doesn't know how to deal with his emotions. And so he responds to her with anger because he it it irritates him that he loves someone <laughs> does that make sense oh god anyways we're gonna but that's that's the energy i'm getting here it's almost like or maybe that's your energy i don't know maybe like this person loves you and they irritate the crap out of you i feel like you guys both irritate each other but what are the secrets of this whoa that one flew out of this person's heart. I told you. I can't, I'm not even going to. Okay. I was going to say. What are the secrets of this person's heart. That they want to they want to say to you. But they are not able to. And literally. I wasn't even done shuffling. Or saying that. And this card flew out. And it says hope. I haven't given up on us yet. I told you. This person. It, this, they're not done. If you're annoyed with them. Because they annoy you. They're not done with you. They're, they're, they're not done with you. Indecisive. I know my ability, inability to make a decision hurts you. So it's like this energy of this person loves you so much. They love you. We're, we're not even going to, we're not even going to question that. We know that they do. All right. But for some reason or another, they couldn't get up the courage to make a decision about what they wanted to do. And now they're in this energy of wanting to propose. And at this point, I don't know if you're going to say yes, Capricorn. If you're a cross watcher and you're watching this, I'm going to give you a little word of advice. Your Capricorn might be fed the fuck up. I'm just going to say that. Like, I'm trying to not even cuss on YouTube, but I'm just going to say your Capricorn might be fed, fed the fuck up. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Look, we have detachment on the bottom of the deck. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. I feel like that's your energy, not theirs, but... Oh, got to share that. Okay, so let's get two more cards, please. What else do they want Capricorn to know? Conversation. I want to call and hear your voice. <laughs> See? I told you. They miss you. They realize that their inability to confront their fears and to analyze why they're always irritated and trying to push your buttons. It's because they love you. It's a really immature energy. It's because it's like they love you, but you also annoy them because you're free, because you're untethered, because you're a free spirit. And they're not, they don't think like you and they don't understand why they love someone like you, but yet of course they love you because of all of those traits which annoy the shit out of them. Does that make sense? So all of these traits annoy the crap out of them. But at the same time, it's those traits that you have which frees their mind, which drives them crazy because they can't help but love you. But it irritates the crap out of them that they love someone who has completely different ideas than they do right you challenge everything about their life and it makes them think and they can't stand it because they'd rather be in their comfort zone than to love someone who is so rebellious at life but now it's gotten to the point where they realize they can't be without you and they have to make that proposal, right? They have to. They have to call and hear your voice because they can't sleep. They're getting sick. They, they're, <laughs> they're a nine of swords energy, which is this energy of not being able to sleep, not being able to function. 
because they just want to hear your voice. Oof. Capricorn. Wow, you have this person in a tizzy. Can I just say that? Like, I'm even getting angry right now. <laughs> oh my God, responsibilities. So it says, I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs. So they're trying to take care of their, see, escape. I left when things got hard. You irritated them. They couldn't, they have all these responsibilities. I told you, for some of you, look, there's the two people, you know, and then there's the baby. So th I told you, for some of you, they were going through something, right? A possible divorce. And now they're paying child support and they're under all of this stress, right? From a previous relationship. And then, you know, they have this thing going on with you and it's very stressful. And now they're saying, oh, I have these financial responsibilities. And, you know, emotionally they're in torment because, you know, they're letting go of this other person. They're getting a divorce. And then now they have, now you come in the picture and they have feelings for you. And they're all confused and they're stressed. <laughs> and so they may have said some harsh things to you, not because it's your fault, but because they see you as, oh, this is the object of my frustration because if I didn't feel like this towards this person, I wouldn't have to get a divorce. I wouldn't have to pay child support. I wouldn't have to do all these things, right? And it caused them some frustration, but it's not your fault. And in no way should you ever take responsibility for someone else's emotions. Whew, that's a lot. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get a little bit more tarot. And then we're, we're going to end with the Keepers of the Light card. All right. What else do we have to know? What do we have to know about this connection? Why is there so much hair on the ground over here? It is so ridiculous. I'm shedding. All right. What else does Capricorn need to know? All right, what, is, what else is, what's the message? Is there any more messages for Capricorn about this connection? Okay, they gave us three cards. Eight of Swords. This person is completely in their head about this. They can't let it go, okay? We have Wheel of Fortune. Again, I don't know, I, you know what? This came out in Scorpio's reading as well, Wheel of Fortune. The reason they cannot let this go and they're trapped in their head about it is because, look, this is fate and destiny. This is a faded, it's a faded connection, Capricorn. It's fate. It's meant to be. They know it. They can't. They can't deny it. All right. They see a future with you. We got the Empress. Look. The Empress is fruitfulness, abundance. They see all of that with you. They see you as the empress, possibly. If this is, if you're a feminine, you're watching this, you're masculine, right? They see you as this, this beautiful, effervescent, feminine personality, right? And they see their life, which is fruitful and abundant with you. It's a possibility, too, that they want to have children with you. If, you know, you're able to have children, just saying, because the Empress is about pregnancy. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. Again, some kind of legal issue. Divorce, possibly. Wowzers. Okay, I'm done. I, I'm done with that energy. It's a lot. Um, I'm going to pull a Keepers of the Light card for you. They're not going to let this go, Capricorn. They're not. So be expecting a message or a proposal or a 
huge confession of how they feel because they're not going to let it go. They feel like you guys are meant to be, period. What is the final message for Capricorn? Good grief. They gave us three. Um, Paul the Venetian. Okay, normally I would pick one and read it from the book, but since they gave you three, I'll just give you a short synopsis on all of them. Paul the Venetian, experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Told you. You inspire them. You inspired them to love. We have Gaia, Earth Connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth and stay grounded. I tell you what, you're going to need to stay grounded in this connection because it's going to feel like a fairy tale. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. That's just what I heard. You're going to need to bring yourself back down to Earth. All right, Kuan Yin, care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved and offer a helping hand. Kuan Yin is the goddess of compassion. And you might have to show this person a little bit of compassion when they come in. Because I'll tell you what, Capricorn, it's, it's going to take a whole lot of bravery on this person's behalf to approach you because you are in queen of swords energy. Now, it's it has nothing to do with masculine or feminine, but you are in this energy of I'm not taking any bullshit. I'm focused on myself. I'm a little bit cold. I'm a little bit detached and I'm not worried about anyone but myself and maybe your child if you have children, right? So it's going to take a lot of guts for this person to swallow their pride and say, Capricorn, I need you. I screwed up. I screwed up big time. You know, I, I snapped at you. I yelled at you. I shouldn't have. I was under a lot of stress. You drive me crazy, but that's not your fault because I'm crazy about you, right? All right. I love you, Capricorn. If you want to book a reading with me, I'm going to put my information in the comment. Um, I'm going to pin. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to pin a comment in the comments. So if you go to leave a comment for me, you'll see it there. It's also always in the description box below my videos. Okay. I love you, Capricorn.